Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about shock vibration test, its usage and setup in ruler test up software. Let's talk about its usage and application spheres. In vibration testing, a classical shock is defined as a single short term impact which has a predefined shape. There are three main characteristics of the shock – peak acceleration, duration and the shock shape. In our software we have such shock shapes as half sign, triangle, trapeze, rectangle, initial peak sawtooth, final peak sawtooth, full sign and have a sign. In classical shock testing you would normally expose the test object to a series of shocks, but nevertheless each shock is a defined pulse and not a continuous vibration impact like in other test types. As for the application spheres, shock vibration testing is used to replicate the dynamic forces and mechanical shocks that a product may encounter during transportation, handling, or operation. Classical shock is widely used in automotive, aerospace, electronics, and of course packaging spheres. Now let's discuss basic shock structure. As you see in the picture, the shock consists of main pulse. It is formed according to the selected shock shape. Positive and negative fronts show the increase and decrease of the amplitude. Also we have pre and post pulses, which are used for moving the shaker stable to the initial position before the impact. Pauses before and after the shock are used to center the shock and split one shock from another, because as I mentioned earlier, shock is a short duration impact. So now we can continue in our vibration testing software test app. I open the test selector and find shock test. Then I click on the icon. Now we need to create a new test profile. Our first tab is called pulse. Here we set the parameters for main pulse, pre and post pulses. Let's select triangle shock. Set a duration to 14 milliseconds, its amplitude to 3G and its positive front to 7 milliseconds. In the pre and post pulses you can select the front type, it can be linear or half sign. Also you can set the amplitude and duration, we will leave it by default. In the bottom of the tab you can see the limit values of the shock and its end values. On the right side we have our total test time and shock pulse length. The next tab is schedule, main command is called shock. Here we can enter the number of shocks, set their levels, enter the shock period and also invert the shock. Let's create two commands. We will do 20 shocks with 100% level with one second period and after that we will do 10 inverted shocks. In the bottom of the tab you can switch the test to manual mode. In this case every shock will be performed only after you press a special button on the control panel during the test run. We won't enable it now. We'll do it during the test run time. The next two tabs are used for shock response spectrum calculation. Let's go to SRS table tab and enable it. Here I will enter the linear profile from 10 Hz up to 500 Hz at 3G amplitude. After that I will go to the next tab and enable make SRS calculation option. In that case shock response spectrum will be calculated and you will be able to see the results on the graph. If you want to know more about SRS settings, you should watch our previous video, it will help you in this case. Today I am going to leave these settings by default. In the control tab we will leave main settings by default, but I will explain some additional features. Use save drive option can be used to improve the startup speed of your test if you are running the series of identical tests using the same equipment. Single shock option increases the startup time but in this case the system won't do any shocks during the startup. Also you can set the initial drive value which will be used during the startup, but you should know this value and be really careful with this parameter. Finally in the limits tab we check the shaker and after that in the channels tab we set the channels configuration. And now we are ready to start the test. The startup is really fast, so now you can see the shocks. Let's open SRS graph.
and now we will switch to manual mode. Here you see hammer icon, let's press it and perform the shocks. Now let's disable it and the test will continue to run automatically. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new from the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and press the like button. It will help us to make more videos for the channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.